In this lesson, we are going to introduce the concept of vectors. Our goal is getting familiar with the meaning of vectors and how to add and subtract two vectors geometrically. There are two types of quantities in physics scalar and vector quantities. Scalar quantities are known by their magnitude and the corresponding units. Length, time, temperature, mass, work and energy are examples of scalar quantities. When we say the room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, Everything about the temperature of room is known. On the other hand, vectors are quantities with both magnitude and direction. Force, velocity, acceleration, and momentum are examples of vectors. Let me say we apply a force of 10 newtons on an object. The question is, in which direction. So knowing the magnitude of the force is not enough. You have to know the direction and the magnitude. In geometry, a vector is shown with a directed line and direction is denoted by an arrow. The beginning of the line segment is called A and the end is called B, tail and head. The length of the line segment, which is shown with vector U with two vertical lines around it, it's called the magnitude of U. It's related to size of U. If tail and head of a vector are the same, it's called zero vector. The magnitude of a zero vector is zero. When magnitude of vector AB is one, AB is called the unit vector. If we switch the tail and head of a vector, we have a new vector in opposite direction. It's called opposite of vector AB. Opposite of vector AB is shown with a negative in front of AB, negative AB, which is BA. Size of AB and size of BA are equal. We say two vectors are equal when their magnitude are the same and they have the same direction. They're parallel and with the same magnitude. Therefore, all vectors, all horizontal vectors with the size of three are equal. When two vectors are sharing the same tail, the orientation is called tail to tail orientation. Angle between Vectors is the angle between the lines containing the vectors, which is the smallest rotation. Puts the first line on the second line in trigonometric direction. When tail of the second vector is the head of the first one, it's called tail to head orientation. If the angle between two vectors is alpha, the angle M in this diagram is 180 minus alpha. Angle between U and V and V and U are opposite. One of them is clockwise, the other one is counterclockwise. If two vectors are in tail to head orientation, 
Then the vector with the tail of the first one and head of the second one is called the addition. U plus V. The red arrow shows U plus V. When they are tail to tail, the vector from the head of the second one to the tail of to the head of the first one is called u minus v. u minus v is pointing u. In this diagram, u minus v, and if we change the direction, we have v minus u. If we use cosine law in triangle one, magnitude of u to the power of two, u plus v to the power of 2 is magnitude of u to the power of 2 plus magnitude of v to the power of 2 minus 2 magnitude of u magnitude of v cosine of 180 minus alpha. We know cosine of 180 minus alpha is negative cosine of alpha. Therefore, size of u plus v to the power of 2 is size of u to the power of 2 plus size of v to the power of 2 plus 2 size of u, size of v cosine of alpha. Similarly, in triangle 2, Magnitude of u minus v to the power of 2 is magnitude of u to the power of 2 plus magnitude of v to the power of 2 minus 2 magnitude of u, magnitude of v cosine of alpha. I emphasize on the point that the angle between two vectors can be found when they are tail to tail. If we add this Two equations, we have size of u plus v to the power of 2 plus size of u minus v to the power of 2 equals 2 times size of u to the power of 2 plus size of v to the power of 2. This is called parallelogram identities. If we consider u and v in this diagram, u plus v is 1 diagonal and u minus v is another diagonal in the triangle, in the paragraph. This means some of the squares of the length of diagonals is the same as some of the squares of the length of the sides of the paragraph. We know in any triangle, the addition of size of two sides is always greater or equal than the third side. If we apply this inequality and in this triangle, knowing that the length of AB and the magnitude of U are the same, the length of BC and magnitude of B are the same, we have magnitude of u plus v is smaller or equal than magnitude of u plus magnitude of v. Similarly, magnitude of u minus v is greater or equal than absolute value of magnitude of u minus magnitude of v. Triangular inequalities, the vector form. Equality holds when u and v are in the same direction and the first one. Let's have a couple of examples. Example one, vectors u and v are parallel and they have the same direction. The angle between u and v is zero. The angle between u and w is 180 degrees. If we shift w, to this point, the angle between them is 180 degrees. In this diagram, U and V are equal. V and W or U and W are opposite. They have the same size, same direction, same size, opposite direction. Therefore, U and W are opposite. Next example. The angle between 
vector u and v is 90 degrees. In this case, magnitude of u plus v and magnitude of u minus v are equal. u plus v, u minus v. The length of the diagonals in a rectangle are equal. We drew two vectors with angle of 30 degrees and with the angle of 120 degrees. If we build up a paragraph, we see in this diagram, magnitude of u plus v is bigger than magnitude of u minus v. And, and when the angle between two vectors are obtuse, is obtuse, size of u minus v is greater, or greater than size of u plus v. Next example. Size of u is 5, size of v is 4, angle between u and v is 60 degrees. We want to find the magnitude of u plus v and magnitude of 5u. We know magnitude of u plus v to the power of 2 is magnitude of u to the power of 2 plus magnitude of v to the power of 2 plus 2 times magnitude of u magnitude of v cosine of the angle between them. Therefore, magnitude of u plus v is square root of 25 plus 16, plus 40 times 1 over 2, which is 20. This would be square root of 61. Magnitude of 5u, or negative 5u, is 5 times magnitude of u, in this case, 25. Our last example. We have two unit vectors u and v and we know u magnitude of u minus v is square root of 2. We are looking for the angle between u and v. Since magnitude of u minus v to the power of 2 is magnitude of u to the power of 2 plus magnitude of v to the power of 2 minus 2 magnitude of u magnitude of v to the power of times cosine of alpha we have 2 equals 1 plus 1 minus 2 cosine of alpha. Therefore, cosine of alpha is 0. That means alpha is 90 degrees. Therefore, if the magnitude of u minus v is root 2, when u and v are unit vectors, their angle is 90 degrees. They are perpendicular. Let's recap. In this lesson, we introduce a new quantity called vector. A vector is a quantity with both magnitude and direction. We learned how to add and how to subtract two vectors. To find the angle between two vectors, we have to put them in tail-to-tail -tail position. Thank you.